So as most of you hopefully know, I released two drama kind of videos about a person named Theo. I'm trying to give a very brief summary of these videos. So Theo, about a year ago, was a dick on Twitter. To someone who didn't deserve it, and he never accepted that. I would kindly request that anyone who understands how the internet works refuse to work with Honey Potio in the future. They have made vague threats to DMCA me throughout for re-uploading their entire documentary. They spent over a year on, and they did nothing more than watch. So I tweeted something else. Dude re-uploaded an entire documentary with himself reacting in the corner the same day it was released. The team who spent months making it told him to take it down. He's now enraged, believing it is transformative and fair use. He demands no one work with the original creator. So for over a year, he shit talked me and lied about me in every context. And so I made this video being like, hey, this is sick and wrong and it's, it's obviously just lies. And I just showed that they were lies. Rather than like accepting his lumps and just being like, oh, I've been called out. I'll stop doing it. Theo doubled, tripled, quadrupled down on Twitter, lying even more, which led to me making a second video even longer to debunk all these lies as well. Considering that the company send kind words to the person who sent a damn army after me for misunderstanding, I reserve my right to be a bit petty. Theo attacked and harassed uh, Honeypot on Twitter for days in multiple messages, causing a, a whole audience of people to dogpile on them and to hate them for something they, they, when they did nothing absolutely wrong. Obviously, this is deserving of criticism, and all I did was criticize that. That's it. And to showcase that the general sentiment about Theo is the one that I've come to understand, which is that he's a jerk. He, he has a huge ego. He has a lot of pride. And this video, I somewhat rushed out because I had heard he was going to make a video himself. And I thought it'd be too hard to cover all the lies he made on Twitter, as well as all the lies he would make in another video. So I made sure to get this one out, preempting his video to showcase that anything he could possibly say in the video would also be a lie. Because I would assume he would repeat many of the false things he said on Twitter. So both these videos demonstrably showcase that Theo is a compulsive liar, to ridiculous degrees. In the sense that he, he will say lies that in what he's showing shows that it's a lie. Or you can just click on a link and it shows he's, he's lying. But he doesn't seem to care. And so I thought that's kind of where it would end. But it didn't end there. Before I get into the new developments though, I just want to add on to the previous two videos. I realized I didn't debunk this in those videos. This is an old tweet from a year ago where he says, I never said the words transparency and fair use. Um, he means transformative here. I said that he was calling his use of Honeypot's work transformative and fair use. And it is true he didn't specifically say those words. What I was referring to was this conversation where Diego said, you can react to the video. They can't DMCA that as it's transformative the hell. And Theo responded, well, I could. I've chosen to respect their request. More than happy to let them hurt themselves in these egregious ways. So technically, he didn't use the words fair use and transformational. He just agreed with someone else who was saying it. And that's what I was saying. I don't think I as well covered Theo's connections with Chud Logic and his little gang of miscreants. Chud posted this here and Theo's like, this dude is such a contradictory piece of shit. And I'm happy people are realizing it. From my understanding, a lot of what had spurred on Theo to lie about me in public and shit talk me and stuff was because he was following this band of 4chan weirdos that had been harassing me or whatever for the last four months. I don't like to use the word harassment. They put a lot of weight into it, but I just mean that these dudes were shit talking me for many months on many different platforms and, and lying about me and blah, blah, blah. And this was apparently Theo's bread and butter. He had finally found his little gang to feed into his delusions and, and that kind of seems to have been of what spurred him on his most recent tirade. So after those two videos came out, I think he was still going to release a video, but that all came crashing down because one of his tier three subscribers, someone who'd been with him for a long time, he reached out to me with some information from Theo's private discord. And I shared this to everyone showcasing um, how much of a, well, I guess scumbag Theo is. And so he's no longer going to make a video because there's no way he can lie himself out of this hole. I don't want to show this person's name because Theo is well, frankly irrational. So the dude showed me this message from Theo's Discord from a year ago where he said, I watched two of his videos and I've decided I'm going to do a Dark Viper teardown on my second channel. He's such a child. Of course, that video never ended up surfacing. Obviously, he was in the wrong. And so him showing that he had access to the Discord, I was like, hey, can you just search for my name in the Discord and show me what else you find? And so he sent me something else and it was this. And so I said on Twitter, Last word on Theo, hopefully. This Discord message shows that when he said I harassed him, he meant my single quote tweet that just said what he did. He failed in his call to get his viewers to brigade and mass report me. To him, harassment is just revealing his actions. So this is a year ago where he says, 
Can't believe this is the thing I'm being harassed for the hardest. To be honest, I want to report Brigade Dark over it. Fuck it. And he links my tweet and says, feel free to report this for inciting harassment as that's all it is doing. So again, every single time, all this time, when, when Theo has said, I'm a harasser, I've harassed him, I've continued to harass him, all he's talking about is this, this single quote tweet. That's it. His viewers, he's told repeatedly that I'm, I've harassed him and I did terrible things. All I did was quote tweet him once and limited our engagement in every way humanly possible. And again, still for over a year, he shit talked me constantly and lied about me constantly for this one thing. And if you recall previously, he, he was like, man, you should like be sure to tell my tell people not to harass me and stuff. It'd be a good faith thing to have a, a, a pinned comment and stuff. And he's saying this, like criticizing how I tried to limit harassment while he himself was behind the scenes trying to incite harassment against me. Again, I said here on Twitter covering what I just told you before. He also planned to make a video on me back then after watching two of my videos. Over the past four months, his attempts to convince others I'm a bad guy likely increased due to his support of Chud's weirdos and the hate campaign. His stream outbursts were likely related. Like you'd think it would end there, but no, there is actually more. So apparently he had emailed me about 15 minutes before I sent that tweet showcasing that previously Theo had called for people to harass me. Feels like there's enough misunderstandings to be worth a quick call. I'm down if you are. Your audience seems to think you'd be down. Now, no one in my audience would ever think I would get into a call with anyone because is like one of my most defining features. I do not like calls with people, <laughs> but regardless. So he sends me this like, hey man, there's just been some misunderstandings. We can hammer this shit out. And then he saw that I, I tweeted that out. And so I assume he was unaware that I still had access to his Discord or whatever. So he sends this to his uh, Discord people. This channel was originally created as a safe place for me to chat with y'all unfiltered. It was built around trust. Today that trust was violated as someone leaked 13 month old messages to a lunatic who has filmed two hours of videos about me in the last two days. Sadly, that means this channel has gone for good. I'm disappointed beyond words. Now to be clear, the videos that I have made total about an hour, he's seemingly unaware that I would see this message. He tweeted out, I should not have sent these messages. I'm sorry. They were not sent to my viewers. This was a private channel with 20 members at the time. They were sent out of frustration, having never dealt with this kind of attention before. They were also sent over a year ago. So understand, in private, he's calling me a lunatic, trying to find this leaker. Publicly though, he's saying, I'm really sorry this happened. I'm sorry that I'm a hurt you man. Like obviously, it, he can't really be sincere if he's still on the back end calling me a lunatic. But surprisingly, it gets worse. So originally under this fake apology, I said, are you sorry? Or are you sorry you got caught and I'm just a lunatic? And I, I showed the message here of him calling me a lunatic. So he edits his tweet. Obviously he did technically give it to his viewers, but he changed it so it says, I sent these messages early last year out of frustration. I should not have sent them, I'm sorry. In editing his tweet, it removed all the messages underneath. I think it took like an hour or two for me to notice, I'm not sure. So the message showcasing that he was not sincere was removed. And so I had to put it again. So I say here, when Theo edited his message, it removed the message showing that this apology is insincere. Moments before apologizing, he called me a lunatic and was hunting for the person who leaked these messages. He still is. And so there's this one here, as well as a new one. So this is all his viewers going, Leaker has Nitro, quick, who here has Nitro? We got him, boys. So you think it would end there, but it actually gets even worse. So he is now publicly trying to say that he's sorry. He actually legitimately feels bad and doesn't like that he's harassed me in this way. He hasn't has shit talked me all this time. That's how he's supported all these terrible people in, in there attacking me as well. I'm trying to pretend this, but he seemed to be unaware that his likes were public. So I say here, not only did he privately insult me before giving a fake public apology, but Theo was liking posts insulting me before he hid his likes to hide this. The man just cannot help himself. How can someone who lies so much be so bad at lying? It is crazy. So I sit from here, totally not biased British man. After the apology, he was liking tweets, calling you names and hid his likes after getting caught out. So here's why is Dark Viper such a spaz man? It's a Reddit mod caught live on camera. It's gonna play. It was just playing moments ago. Why Twitter? Well, I can find the post he liked, but this is just a video that would normally scroll and show stuff. This dude harasses and starts beef with anyone he can get to pay attention to him. He's been on this cycle with a dozen other content creators. Genuinely, anyone who knows this clout goblin knows he desperately hops on drama as a replacement for good content. This won't last. This is saying who I am. GTA content creator Spivana, whenever I see him starting beef with someone online, it's usually always because his metrics have started to dip a bit. It's just manufactured drama content, but nothing particularly egregious compared to others that do it. 
I've already covered these kind of sentiments and how wrong they are, but they just don't care. Because it just makes me easier to compartmentalize. Doesn't matter how much I show of another person being a jerk or instigating shit or just being a scumbag. For some people, they will always just assume the worst of me in order to safeguard their feelings of the person who's actually actually acting in the wrong. So Theo here says, I reached out to Viper and offered to do a call earlier. He tweeted the Discord message about 15 minutes later. This was entirely unrelated. I did not see his email about him offering me a call before tweeting that out, but I would have tweeted out regardless. And I probably wouldn't have done a call with him regardless. I do not consider him to be an honest person. Obviously. He says, I'm down to try and settle this offline. I'm not sure if he's willing. There's nothing to settle. All he has to do is shut the fuck up. That's it. I did reply to his email and there's, there's, there's a part that I think I want to read here. I kind of covered all the bad things he did and the bad things he supported, but I wanted to express to him, the video of our first interaction was unlisted. I was even in the process of processing those unlisted rambles to re-upload what parts were still relevant and interesting and delete the old videos. In a few months, even that unlisted video showcasing our first involvement would have been gone. I have never seen a person so perfectly self-sabotage themselves for no other reason than ego and pride. I wasn't mentioning him. I didn't care about him. There was no reason for him to care about me either, but he just couldn't let it go. It was the tiniest, tiniest blip in the entire history of the world that no one really cared about or no one paid attention to and no one cares about certainly now a year later. It was a video with 50,000 views. All he had to do was not be an asshole. That's it. He could even be, he could even continue to be an asshole privately, just not publicly. That's all he had to do and he couldn't manage it. If failing that, when called out publicly for being an asshole, all you had to do was not double, triple, quadruple, and, and further down on being an asshole. There's nothing to resolve. Just stop. Yeah, so I guess that's the end of the Theo saga. I hoped it would have been done with one video. I honestly hoped it would have been done a year ago with the video where I wasn't even particularly interested in Theo and I was more just interested in the phenomenon of people being dogpiled on when they try to exercise their rights over the content that they work hard to create. I would much rather none of this had happened. I would much rather had not wasted, you know, in, in part of five days on all this issue, all these issues. I had other shit I was meant to be doing. Red Dead Redemption 2 speedrunning, probably not gonna happen now because all that time I allotted to, to learning the run and, and, and have, hopefully having at least one run is now gone. And certainly understand when I call this stuff out, especially when it lasts for a long time, I don't look good in this either. Even though I haven't done anything wrong and it was ultimately Theo's arrogance and, and pride and stuff that, that, that caused this entire thing. Because obviously I, I, I was, in no way was I required to stay silent on a person shit talking me publicly repeatedly. But like you can see messages like this, uh, dude, I won't lie, it's not that deep. It cannot be the, this serious, Matt. I love Dark Viper EU. He's one of my favorite creators. But recently I'm being put off following you on here because it seems most days it's just you arguing with other people. Admittedly, they're assholes, but the constant negative tweets I've been seeing sucks. I say to this, I absolutely understand there will be, there will be small bursts of this occasionally. It is Twitter. Do what makes you happy. Like I recognize that for a lot of people, they will just recognize who these people are, that they shouldn't be taken seriously, and they just won't. They'll let them be in their little corners of the internet, raging and, and, and lying in, in, in their cesspool and their filth. And, and to some degree, I, I recognize it's probably a better way of living, probably healthier for your mentality. But to some degree, I can't help myself but to combat this stuff. It, it, it Certainly, I'm getting used to it over time, but... I don't feel like I should have to get used to just people lying on the internet about me continuously. Stuff that like you can demonstrably show is false in like 15 seconds, but people just still, still feel perfectly fine saying that stuff because they know no one's gonna look. Like you'd be surprised what people can eventually adapt to. It is just the case that if you experience something like this for year after year after year after year, you eventually just stop care about it less. But I do think had those DMs about Theo not come at the time that I was already making videos about Chud and his fucking morons, Maybe he wouldn't, he wouldn't have got a video, but I was already in that zone of debunking bullshit. So I thought, why not just continue? Some people are just going to believe whatever they believe, no matter what you tell them. Exactly. Actually, there's one more thing in this email team that I, I want to say. Any shred of possible belief in your sincerity, as limited as that would have been, died with that last message on your Discord where you called me a lunatic. You are not sorry due to some belief you have treated me poorly. You do not care about me at all. If you could right now take me and throw me into a literal bus to rewind time and avoid losing esteem in the eyes of others, I guarantee you wouldn't a heartbeat. You feel sad not because of any harm you have caused now or in the past. You are sad because you got caught doing it and received repercussions for that. I have absolutely no idea what words would see you improve and not do this sort of thing again. I am, however, confident that there is nothing I can possibly do to prevent you from hating me. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but my experience with you tells me that you have every capability to someday rewrite these events in your mind to make sure I am once more a demon and you a helpless victim in your head. Interestingly, it didn't take a day 
It didn't take two days. It took like an hour. It is just funny that, as I end up saying to him here, you have experienced but a tiny fleck of the negativity I've experienced in my career entirely undeserved. Speaking of me, not him. And that he added to it for no justified reason. I didn't say it here, but I honestly think if, if Theo had to walk a day in my shoes, it would just crush him completely. If he really freaked out this much and was this burdened by one quote tweet with a couple of thousand likes or something, experiencing that the absolute torrents of negativity and stupidity that I've experienced over the course of my career would just destroy him utterly. Hell, it almost destroyed me. It's just something that just over time you grow more and more resistant to. But anyway, so that's the end of the Theo stuff. No more. Stop! Now that I have your attention, hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you. I wish you all the best.